babies. Welcome to Sunday Cooking with Kalila. All right, so tonight we're going to do a dish that's really quick and easy. It's very popular in my hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana. As you can see, I'm representing my high school, McDonald 35, class 95 today. Hey, y'all. And, um, and this is something that's really delicious. It's perfect for a cold night. So what we're going to do today is combination yaki meat. Um, which is pretty much a variation of a Chinese soup that's very popular in New Orleans. So, I'm going to get started. What we're going to do is show you everything you need to make this dish. So, let's go through the recipe list. Here, um, we're going to do two pounds of, this is pork stew meat. And you have two pounds of beef stew meat. Two pounds of peeled and deveined shrimp. And you're gonna also need some Dale steak seasoning, Tony Satris, garlic powder, onion powder, thin spaghetti, green onions, soy sauce, hot sauce, and eggs. The green onion and eggs are gonna the green onion, eggs, soy sauce, and hot sauce is gonna be used later for garnishment. The um, spaghetti is going to be used for filler inside the soup. So I'm going to show you how to get your broth started. Now, with yaki meat or yaki men, as the professional would call it, but in New Orleans we say yaki meat, the broth is the most important part to make sure that it is perfectly seasoned. Okay, so here as you can see, I um, have everything set up, or as you want to say, mise en place. My girl Anita taught me that, which means to put in place all my ingredients here. So what you want to do is get your big stock pot. Um, this is my Magnolite -like stock pot. And you just want to pretty much just throw everything in. But we're going to start with just the beef and the pork. Because that's going to take the longest to boil. So dump in your pork. Dump in your beef. Okay, so you want to start with your Tony Satcher season. After you introduce all you mean to pot, sprinkle a little Tony Satcher's in there. Garlic powder. Some onion powder. And the Dale steak seasoning. Now be careful with some of the seasoning because at the end when you go to put your, your, um, your soy sauce in there, which tends to be salty also, you don't want it to make it too salty so where you can eat it. So you might want to just go a little bit, you know, light on this stuff, especially this steak season, unless you have the low sodium kind, then you can, you know, do it. So after you finish seasoning all your meat, you want to go ahead and fill the pot up halfway with water and put it on the stove to boil until your meat is nice and tender. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and let that get nice and tender. And I'll be back to show you um, where to go from there. See you in a bit. I've had the meat, the beef and the pork boiling behind me for about 45 minutes or so. In the meantime, while the um, meat has been boiling, I went ahead and chopped up the green onion. And now we're going to go over and test the beef and make sure it's tender enough so we can put the shrimp in. Follow me, camera. Rest in peace, Messi Maya. So, um, as you can see, the meat here is to a rolling ball. Come over here, camera, please. The meat here is to a rolling ball in the pot. So what you really want to do is try to find a piece of beef and test it, because that's the one that's going to take the longest to boil. So that's a piece of beef. Put it on your cutting board. Cut it open. See how it's nice and brown in the inside. Cut like butter and taste it. Make sure it's tender to cut. God damn, that's good. All right, so after you notice that your meat is tender, you want to add your shrimp in to the stock. And let that boil for additional 15, 20 minutes. Okay. 
once you put your shrimp in, you're gonna have to return it back to a bowl because that cooled down your broth some. So once that returned to a bowl, let that bowl for another additional 15, 20 minutes. Make sure in the meantime, you have your spaghetti boiling and your eggs boiling, okay? So we're gonna get that done and once all this is done and the shrimp is stuffed, I'm gonna show you how to plate it or in this instance, bowl it. And we'll be back then. All right, y'all, now we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to bowl the yucky meat. So what you wanna do is start with a single serving size bowl. Later, your broth into the bowl. As you can see, the shrimp, the chicken, the pork. Put all that in the bowl. Make sure you get enough juice because this is a soup, so. So after you get all your juice in the bowl, oops, what you want to do is, what I like to do, some people do this last, I like to do it beginning because I want to make sure that it's mixed well into my broth. Let me get a gumbo spoon. You add your desired soy sauce. High sauce to your desired spiciness. And what I like to do is like stir that up to make sure that it's all in the broth really good. This is just regular bald thin spaghetti. Put your spoonful of that in there. Take your spoon and you want to mix that in thoroughly. Bring your meat to the top. And as you can see, you can see the shrimp, the beef, the pork. Now, if you got that all nice and done, you want to garnish it with green onion. You can do a little or a lot. And top it with a ball egg. I usually do one whole ball egg per serving, and I just slice them down the middle. And there you have it. Combination yakimi. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos, and I will see you next Sunday. Oh, and before I go, I want to shout out my cameraman, my husband, Freddie. Deuces. <laughs> All right, y'all. See y'all next Sunday. Have a good night. Bye.